welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create this look for you guys. This look was inspired by Virgo since it is currently Virgo season. This video is actually part of my birth sign zodiac horoscope series here on my channel. I will link the other videos down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is 100% free, just letting you know. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. For this look, I really wanted like an ethereal, angelic looking vibe. It kind of reminds me of a cross between my Easter makeup tutorial and my Christmas angel makeup tutorial. If you haven't seen those, then I will list those down below as well. The Christmas angel makeup tutorial is what I basically had in mind for Virgo, but I wanted to add a few different touches, of course. One being the white eyeliner. This white eyeliner by NYX is pretty good, but it is kind of cracky. So it, I don't know, it, it's a little hard to work with. And the brush, the brush on this one, I think I got a bad one because the brush on this one is kind of frayed. So it's so hard to get the perfect point at the tip of your wing. So other than that i really really love this look it looks so light and angelic and just so pretty it's kind of also giving me coachella vibes right right anyways if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look then just keep on watching so first we're gonna start off with the brows i'm lightly filling in my brows with this brow power brow pencil by it cosmetics Next, I'm cleaning up my brows with my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And then I'm setting down that concealer with this Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee. Then, taking my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, I'm going to buff the shades Limit and Nooner into my crease. And I'm also applying some of that on the lower lash line as well. For the lids, I mixed together this Stila Liquid Shadow in Kitten with this Cover FX Shimmering Veil Liquid Shadow in Amethyst. And I also applied some of this mixture onto the inner half of the lower lash line. Then right on top, I'm placing this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Sailor and dragging some of that onto the inner corners as well. Then going back into Limit and Nooner, I'm blending out any harsh edges in the crease. For my brow bone highlight, I used this Ofra highlight in You Glow Girl. Next, I'm creating a wing using my white liquid liner from NYX. And then for my waterline, I'm going in with this white pencil from NYC. Now, I'm just curling my lashes and applying some of this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. To prime my face, I'm using this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. And for foundation, I'm mixing together my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade Warm Beige with this Temp2 and BoxyCharm Liquid Highlight. For concealer, I'm using my trusty Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to set that down with this Banana Powder from Ofra. Then I'm setting down the rest of my face with this Physicians Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. To contour my face, I'm going in with this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. I'm not going for a very harsh or chiseled contour because I want the face to look quite innocent. And with a rounder face, you have a more of a youthful, childlike appearance. So all I'm trying to do is bring back a little bit of definition back into my face. Next, I'm applying one of my favorite blushes ever, the Milani Rose Blush in Romantic Rose. For highlight, I'm first going in with this Estate Highlight in Do Me, and then applying Ofra's Highlight in You Glow Girl right on top. To help everything melt together, I'm spritzing on some of my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. And then I decided to pop on some Kiss Lashes to bring more definition to the eyes. For the lips, I first went in with this Lilac Nude Lipstick by L'Oreal in the shade Frida's Nude. Then I applied a High Shine Lip Gloss on top. And then right in the center of the lips, I applied some of this Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Top Coat in Fever. Then for a little bit more glam, I decided to add these little diamond-like rhinestones I got off of Amazon above my brows using the NYX Glitter Glue. 
You can of course use lash glue instead, but I could not find mine at the moment. And to make this easier on myself, I kind of drew out where I wanted to place each rhinestone with the white pencil from NYC. And I also used that white pencil to pick up the rhinestones because those suckers are tricky. All right guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.